Good evening, Dave here in Altoona, Iowa, welcoming you back to Scale Models Midwest. Midweek update, one day late. Sorry, uh, on Wednesday I was just busy with a lot of other items and didn't get a chance to get a video out to you. But here we are. So, just wanted to show you. I've got some color coats on the Mustang at this time. As you can see, the TS-19 Metallic Blue from Tamiya laid really well. These are three mist coats. Um, actually, the third coat's a little heavier, but uh, I still think I'm going to get a, uh, another coat before I let it all gas out and then clear it and sand. But um, I'll tell you, it just looks really good. Took my time with it. I think the fender flares are as good as I was going to get them. I had sanded and reshaped them a couple of times, reprimed them, and for a first effort, I don't think they look half bad. And I think one of my uh, commenters, Charlie Mack, uh, thank you very much. He said, um, this is what model building is all about. You get better with practice. And this is the first time I've done wheel flares. So uh, it's not going to be the last time. And I'm going to get better with practice. So again, thank you very much, Charlie. Appreciate that. But what I wanted to do this evening was kind of go over some of the other kits that I've got in my collection that I've built. Uh, these that I'm going to show you tonight just came out of one of my boxes that I had sitting on a table that I really didn't have any room to store them in. Um, I jokingly referred to them as mif misfits, but the more I looked at them, the more I said, you know what, these kits aren't bad. And I'm going to have to find some way to get them up on the shelf and display them for everybody to see. But I wanted to show them to you tonight. So, without further ado, here we go. Okay, so the first one I have here is the monogram kit. It's a reissue, not the original. Uh, it's a Tom Daniels design a uh, Street Fighter, the Super Sanitary Z28 powered Snarling Car Killer, 124 scale. I thought this was a cool kit when I bought it. Uh, it has a tilt front end, much like the other kit that I've got somewhere in my stash. There's a 66 Chevelle that uh, has a tilt front end, which I always thought was cool. Uh, this one has just a really cool suspension. I love the tires and rims that came with this kit. I wish I had extras of them because they would go great with um, some street rods that I've got ideas for. It had the uh, tinted glass in red. And I'm trying to remember what color this is. I think it is Inca Gold, one-shot lacquer from Testers. And um, it just... It worked really good. This car was not sanded. This car, uh, I just basically light sanded it as prep and then uh, primed it, then painted it. Um, I never really put this thing together, per se. I mean, I made it so I could take the body off. The interiors of those cars were very spartan, very basic. Uh, much the same for the suspension. But uh, it was a good kit. I like it. I'm going to show you the next one. Okay, the next one we have here is another one of my favorite big cars. I've always been a fan of the big cars of the 60s. This one is the AMT 62 Buick Deuce and a Quarter. Um, again, some of these colors, they're lost to time. But this one is a nice dark blue. And as you can see, I didn't get any glue on the windows. It's always good. And like I said uh, in one of my previous videos, I do like lighter colored interiors this one i have a light colored interior and i have an like an off contrast color for the flocking again using some ken's fuzzy fur engine nice little buick motor there and again beautiful beautiful car the proportions are really well um this one has metal axles so it rolls a little off uh, not sure if that's just because it's been sitting in the box forever, but yeah, I, I built this and I built another one in the kind of like a desert rose color, much like the box art. And I built that one for a friend of mine. He still has his, I'm sure. But uh, like me, after I built it, displayed it for a while, I had it at a place called Great Hobby Adventures out here in West Des Moines before the guys retired and closed the shop up at that place. And I just brought it home, put it in the box, and like I said, just picked it out today figured I'd show it to you but take it to the next one here's another reissued kit the uh, AMT 
Fireball 500 SSXR. Um, this one, if I remember correctly, was in a movie back in the 60s. I'm trying to remember which one it was. I think uh, it was a movie that had uh, that guy that used to sing and dance with a nephew in a cello. I'm thinking Frankie Avalon. Not sure. But I liked the car. I liked the color. Uh, gee, I wonder why. But still. I liked it. Um, this is one of my first attempts at paint fades, and I think it turned out alright. Um, again, another very basic kit. Has the dual quad Hemi. Definitely could use some wires on that to make it look good. I like the dual cockpit with the tinted glass, kind of like your Batmobile. Which, by the way, I'd love to build a Batmobile someday. That'd be so cool. Maybe with the newest one from the Batman. That one looks pretty sweet. But again, very basic. Rolls, rolls well. And of course, with these AMT kits that have the axles, they go through the engine blocks. So of course your oil pan's gonna have a hole in it. But you know what, does it matter? No. Um, again, these aren't built for contests. I built them, displayed them, and then you know put them on my shelf at home. Or in this case, again, just put them in the box. And one of the cool things too is if you're building a kit, <clears throat> I've seen some people cut out the fronts and post them on their wall, but uh, if you've got space and you can store them in the box and then store the box somewhere, if you ever go to sell them, it'd be so cool if you had the box that went with it. I've seen so many um, kits that have been on eBay where they say, hey, I've got the original kit box, got the original instructions. All of these have the original instructions and any parts that I did not use. As you can see, I didn't put the decals on them. So I still have them in the kit. And it's just cool because someday I probably will sell these on or give them to somebody else. They can enjoy it. And it'd be kind of cool if they had the box that went with it. Don't you think? I'm going to show you another one. Okay, now this one I really like. This is the BRE Datsun 240Z that was driven by Pete Brock and John Horton back in the 70s. And uh, in C prep for uh, SEC competition. This was one of probably my better jobs of masking two-tone paint. Nice deep dark Italian red over white. A um, little bit of weathering underneath. I wanted to get it to sit lower like it does in the box art there, but still it's sharp as it is. Got the nice little inline six with the side draft Weber's. I had this set up to where it had wiring and everything in it, but somehow I think I took it apart, took the wiring out because it just wasn't sitting well, and, you know, it's all right. But still, looking at this kit, I wish I had more of these kits. They're out of production, and when I've seen them, they've been ridiculously priced. But man, if I had one or two more kits, I'd love to build one. And like a gunmetal gray, lower the suspension, try my hand at some wheel wells. I actually have seen some uh, aftermarket JDM manufacturers that uh, they had wheel flares that went for this particular kit. But man, if I could find one, I'll buy it, and then I'll buy that one, build it, and show it off for you, if I can find one. Got one more to show you before we go. Okay, so I don't know why this one's in my Misfits box, this is one of my favorite kits of all time. Um, it's going right back up on the shelf as soon as I'm done with this video here because this is a Roadrunner, 71 Roadrunner. And this was a car I wanted back in high school. Never could find one. When I moved up to Iowa, I found one that uh, I looked at through a friend of mine where I was working at a Swenson's restaurant bussing tables. And he wanted like 800 bucks for it little rusty but it had a good running 383 and i said you know what i'm gonna buy it and then he wrecked it and then i didn't think anything of looking for another vehicle until my wife and i started dating and in a town of madrid there was a green like a lemon green i think uh oh man sublime 71 roadrunner sitting in this guy's backyard buried up to its frame and I wanted it and I asked about it and the guy said well I own the car but the titles 
with someone else because I owe them money. And it was just crazy that they had this and it just sat there and like three or four years time that I was watching it was just slowly rotting away and then one day it just disappeared so I ended up building a model of it instead but I put my little flare on it I like the big and littles I think these tires and rims came from Otaki I had these for a number of years before I built this kit but uh, I mean man look at that coke bottle fuselage it's just got the right stance. Perfect for a car of the 70s. The uh, paint is, I think, a tester's metallic green. But um, it's got a nice interior. Dusty, but nice. And the engine, you know, nothing really to write home about. But just a solid 440. Four barrel carb that I pulled off one of my pro stalkers. No wiring, no detail, really, just a lot of paint detail. But uh, ultimately, it was one of my favorite cars because it's a car I wanted to have back in high school and never really succeeded at that. But you know what? Sometimes, you know, you learn the car that you want isn't the car that you get. You get the car that you need. And for me, I needed a car, so I had a 73 Chrysler Newport. Um, not too far off the mark color-wise than this car, but uh, they never made a model of the Newport, so and I kind of miss that car too. But this one, I figured I'd finish the video out with tonight. I've got a couple more of these. These were the uh, Monogram 71 Roadrunner. If you remember, it's a molded black body. Uh, I'd like to build a few more of those, so someday I'll probably pull out one of those kits and build them up. But uh, yeah, hope you like it. So. Stay tuned. Saturday I'm going to have an update on the Mustang, showing you some paint detail that I've done, and go from there. So, till then, again, if you see a model that uh, you'd like to pick up, go ahead and buy it, build it. If you'd like to show it off, send me some good pictures through my email. I'll link that in the description, and I'll post that up for you and give you a shout-out. Till then, everybody take care, and have a great rest of the week.